Yes, hi, hello everyone. So we're back to Mr. Underscore Bio. So for today, we're going to have our photosynthesis quiz. So we're gonna check if you still have some knowledge pertaining to this concept. First question, where does the light-dependent reaction of photosynthesis take place? A. Stroma, B. Thylakoid membrane, C. Cytoplasm, or D. Mitochondria? The answer, it's B, thylakoid membrane. The light-dependent reactions of photosynthesis occur in the thylakoid membranes within the chloroplast. These membranes contain chlorophyll and other pigments that capture sunlight and use its energy to split water molecules, releasing oxygen. This process also generates ATP or adenosine triphosphate and NADPH or nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate, which are essential for the next phase of photosynthesis, which is the Calvin cycle. Next question. What is the main purpose of photosynthesis? A, to convert glucose into ATP. B, to release carbon dioxide. C, to produce oxygen and glucose. Or D, to break down food for energy. The answer, it's C to produce oxygen and glucose. The primary purpose of photosynthesis is to convert light energy into chemical energy stored in glucose, which plants and other photosynthetic organisms can use as a fuel. During this process, plants also release oxygen as a byproduct which is essential for many organisms that rely on oxygen for cellular respiration. Which of the following molecules is a product of the light-independent reactions, Calvin cycle, of photosynthesis? A. ATP, B. NADPH, C. Glucose, or D. Oxygen. The correct answer is letter C, glucose. The Calvin cycle, also known as the light independent reactions, takes place in the stroma of the chloroplast. It uses ATP and NADPH, which are produced in the light dependent reactions, along with carbon dioxide to produce glucose. This glucose serves as an energy source for the plant and can be stored for later use. Next question, which enzyme is responsible for fixing carbon dioxide during the carbon cycle? A. ATP synthase B. Rubisco C. NADPH plus reductase or D. Fyruvate dehydrogenase The correct answer is letter B, Rubisco. Rubisco or ribulose 1,5-biphosphate 
carboxylase oxygenase is the enzyme that catalyzes the first step of carbon fixation in the carbon cycle. It attaches carbon dioxide to ribulose 1,5-biphosphate or RUBP, eventually leading to the production of glucose. Herbisco is one of the most abundant enzymes on Earth, which pigment primarily absorbs sunlight in plants for photosynthesis. A. Chlorophyll B. Carotenoids C. Anthocyanin or D. Xanthophyll The correct answer is A, chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the main pigment responsible for absorbing light energy in photosynthesis. It absorbs mostly blue and red wavelengths of light and reflects green, which is why plants appear green. Chlorophyll plays a crucial role in capturing light energy that drives the synthesis of ADP and NADPH in the light-dependent reactions. What is the role of NADPH in photosynthesis? A, to capture light energy. B, to act as an energy source for cellular respiration. C, to donate electrons and hydrogen ions in the Calvin cycle. Or D, to transport oxygen to plant cells. The correct answer is letter C, to donate electrons and hydrogen ions in the Calvin cycle. NADPH is produced during the light-dependent reactions and serves as a reducing agent in the Calvin cycle. It donates electrons and hydrogen ions, helping to convert carbon dioxide into glucose. Next one. What is the initial source of energy that drives photosynthesis? A. Oxygen B. ATP C. Sunlight or D. Glucose The correct answer is letter C. Sunlight Sunlight is the initial energy source that drives the process of photosynthesis. Light energy is absorbed by chlorophyll and other pigments in the thylakoid membranes, setting off the reactions that convert water and carbon dioxide into glucose and oxygen. This sunlight-driven energy conversion is essential for producing the chemical energy needed to sustain plant life and, indirectly, most life on Earth. Which process in photosynthesis generates ATP? A. Calvin cycle B. Electron transport chain C. Glycolysis or D. Fermentation The correct answer, it's letter B, electron transport chain. In the light-dependent reactions, the electron transport chain in the thylakoid membrane generates ATP through a process called photophosphorylation. As electrons are passed along the chain, protons are pumped across the thylakoid membrane, creating a gradient. This gradient powers ATP synthase to produce ATP. Next up, which molecule is split during the light-dependent reactions to produce oxygen? A. Carbon dioxide B. Glucose 
C. Water or D. ATP. The correct answer is letter C, water. During the light-dependent reactions of photosynthesis, water molecules are split in a process known as photolysis. This splitting of water occurs in the thylakoid membrane and produces oxygen as a byproduct, as well as electrons and hydrogen ions. The electrons are then used in the electron transport chain to produce ADP and NADPH, which are necessary for the Calvin cycle. What happens to carbon dioxide molecules in the Calvin cycle? A. They are split to release oxygen. B. They are converted into energy. C. They are incorporated into a three carbon molecule, or D, they act as an electron donor. The correct answer it's letter C. They are incorporated into a three carbon molecule. In the Calvin cycle, carbon dioxide molecules are fixed by the enzyme Rubisco and eventually incorporated into a three carbon molecule, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate or G3P. G3P can then be used to produce glucose and other carbohydrates. During which stage of photosynthesis is glucose produced? A. Light-dependent reactions B. Calvin cycle C. Glycolysis or D. Krebs cycle The correct answer, it's letter B, Calvin cycle. Glucose is produced in the Calvin cycle, which occurs in the stroma of the chloroplast. This stage of photosynthesis does not require light and uses ATP and NADPH from the light-dependent reactions, along with the carbon dioxide to synthesize glucose. And for our last question, which molecule is the primary product of the Calvin cycle that can be used to form glucose? A, ATP, B, G3P, or glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, C, NADPH, or D, oxygen? And the correct answer is letter B, G3P or glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. The Calvin cycle produces G3P, a three carbon molecule that can be used to form glucose and other carbohydrates. Two molecules of G3P are typically needed to produce one molecule of glucose. And there you have it, guys, our 10 questions about photosynthesis. I hope you learned something new today. Thank you so much for watching. Again, this is Mr. Underscore Bio. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content like this. See you in the next video. And always remember, don't sell for good. Demand great. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.